and Major Hector Quintanella is now the chief of Project Blue Book. Major Quintanella, what are the objectives of Project Blue Book? Um, as I'm standing there, I, I kind of... Uh, it's a very hard feeling to describe. Um, skinny, skinny arms, skinny legs, but I could only see about half of this thing. It was just an eye-opening experience. There was one, a ship coming over the house. It was like a white light sort of thing that we saw. It, it, it was uh, it was coming out of a cloud. What is up, everybody? How are you guys doing today? Man, it's going to be a cool one today. All right, man. So uh, I hope you guys are watching me right now here. We're live on Rumble. We are live on YouTube. And yes, we are live on uh, Facebook as well. <laughs> they they actually let me put it on there. What? what? How did that happen, man? Uh, you know, there's, uh, I had some past podcasts, you know, people were saying, well, you got to say this, you got to say that, you got to do this, you know, and we try to do the best we can, but, you know, uh, you know, and I'm trying to get all this information out for you guys today. You know, I, I do have a, um, a couple of videos and some photos to show you new stuff that just came out, man. So if you're watching today, you're watching us on, on all these video platforms. We are live. We're actually live on our audio as well. So you can catch our audio podcast on Spreaker live right now. After that, it'll be on iHeartRadio. Radio, Spotify, Google, uh, Ask Alexa, and she'll even give you some Alien Strand podcast, you know, and, and that's the good stuff, man. That's the way to, to, to get in the information and the disclosure, because that's what it's about. It's about disclosure, man. Getting it out there to you guys as much as possible, you know, um, I appreciate, like I said, all you guys uh, watching the middle and, and the middle part two and going to our YouTube channels and, and you know, just kind of uh, subscribing there as well. You know, it's it's the the film is doing great on Amazon Prime. The middle part two is that since it's out. Right. And, uh, you know, I just have to say that it was it's it was an amazing thing to do. So I've been putting out like a lot of stuff on my Facebook, uh, the process, and I'm going to be doing a behind the scenes as well. Right. Of, of wh how we filmed, where we went and all kinds of stuff if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff you will find it on youtube and you'll probably find it here on rumble as well right so you're watching on twitch as well if you guys are out there thank you uh facebook is out there i see you guys if you want to chat bring it on down and you'll see it come up there on wait right here on that side it'll come out on that side <laughs> all right man you know it's just been crazy 
we've had these hurricane this hurricane that just went by bro and you know i live down here in south texas right so it it like it it was it would look like it was going to hit us direct and it just went whoop it went straight up you know and uh, and it hit houston unfortunately you know but uh, even though you're you're prepared you can never be over prepared it's like it, it, you don't know what these winds are going to do man and it's uh i am a true believer of this now i've sat through like four or five hurricanes big ones too and uh and, and it gets ugly it feels awful for like six seven sometimes ten hours and it feels like you're not gonna your house is gonna fly off you know and um all I can say is to folks out there, if you live in these coastal areas and stuff where there's hurricanes, typhoons, all that good stuff that comes along with it, um, my best advice to you guys, prune your trees, please. You know why? Because when they're all bushy like that, no air goes through them, right? No air. But when they're like this, there's air flowing through it and they're now breaking, falling over and knocking over power lines. Hello. You know, that, that it's, it's just, that's the truth. Prune your trees, man. Uh, that's all I can tell you. It's, and, and I do that like religiously where we're at, uh, only because of that and during this time of season. Now, um, I do have a lot of stuff uh, that I'm going to show you today. And and it has a lot to do with, uh, I'm going to show you some, some Bigfoot stuff and I'm going to show you a lot of UFO stuff, man, because it, it came out today, you know, that... Um, the things that I was seeing on on Bigfoot, right, and 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 uh, it's kind of strange how people are like they kind of throw it like, well, do, did these you know creatures you know really you know live during our times or before our times? You know, it even says it in in a lot of these uh, these these books and everything like that, right? That's that's involved with it, right? And um, of course, the historical books, things like that. And we always try to you know. Put it off to yes, no, maybe it, it did happen or didn't happen. And um, I'm a true believer that it it did happen, man. That uh, these Nephilim, these things that were walking the earth, you know, call them what they will. The Sumerian texts, you know, these Anunnaki huge things were walking around our, you know, the, the land before we even had anything, right? You know, it was kind of like strange. But, and, and, and it always gets me thinking, all the time like you know how was it or did this stuff pass on through these generations uh, as time went on through the millennia like in in the uh in the anunnaki they call it a shar which is three thousand six hundred years right they, that was their time the way they did one shar two shar you know and, and it says that in their books and, and that's just time right that went by so who's to say that maybe a lot of these things maybe survived out there and it's a possibility that Bigfoot is a real entity of some sort, right? Uh, and uh, hey, why not, right? I mean, we see everything else. Why not be a, a, a Bigfoot out there, you know? Uh, and it's it's just one of those things that, you know, I'm going to read a little something to you. I'm going to put it up on screen so you guys can see what I'm kind of, where I'm getting at here real quick. Um, so, you know, in, in this... In this uh, this little thing right here it says in 79 AD Roman uh, historian uh, Jesus uh, Flavius uh, wrote that in the last uh, of the, uh, the race of the Egyptian giants did live uh, up to the 13th century BC right during the reign of the King Joshua he further wrote that he had uh, they had huge bodies and they fa uh, and their faces were unlike ordinary humans that it was like an amazing to look at them, right? It was scary to listen to their loud voice, which sounded like a lion's roar, right? And um, that that is what we hear a lot of times, you know, kind of like put this together in a sense. So we kind of hear a little bit of that when, you know, people are out in the woods, uh, they're getting a lot of this, these sounds of uh, this humongous roar of, of a beast of some sort that's out there, right? That's making these noises, right? I mean, why not it be a part of that generation? But the thing that makes us different is that these creatures or whatever they are, are basically, uh, they're, they're more hairy than anything else. Their shoulders are massive, right? And, and that's what makes uh, that part different. I'm going to show you this picture, uh, this video uh, picture of this, baby bigfoot or a small bigfoot like a junior bigfoot that was caught out there on a camera you know you might guys say that's somebody in a suit but 
Check this out, and, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna throw it on screen right now so you guys can see. So somebody took a photo. There's some deers kind of looking that way. Looks like something walking in the woods. And as the the camera zooms in, you can see uh, some kind of creature in the background that's walking. Uh, this is a daytime photo. Now, as you see it blown up there, look at the face, how it kind of looks. The thing that caught my attention the most was the fingers on this thing. Right? Look how long these fingers are on this junior. I'm going to call it a Sasquatch or even if it's a little kid, the, the eyes kind of, you know, make it different where it's, it's why the, the, the Bigfoot always has like a wider eye, uh, where their eye sockets are are a little bit wider than where the nose is. This is how you know how a lot of people uh, the they'll they'll say, well, you know, it's somebody in a suit, maybe or maybe not. But what you're seeing here is uh, the the finger length. What I was trying to show you now could somebody done that? Maybe, but it just kind of looks strange. And the deer were kind of freaking out there on that photo. Now I'm going to bring you to this next, you know, to uh, another photo that that. Uh, that somebody took out there on their, uh, they, they saw something looking at them through the, the uh, behind a tree. Now, this next photo is going to be like a really close image of a, a uh, possibly a Bigfoot. And I'm going to show you why I was explaining to you uh, about the eyes and the thing like that, right? So as you look at this photo, now look, it's the tree, look to the bottom right, look how wide the eyes are look how dark and black the eyes are uh, they're not really close together like a regular human being it's a little bit wider you know and uh, it's a night nice shot for people out there in audio world you know it, it's what you're looking at here is a i think it's a pretty good uh bigfoot because we we always look at the, the eyes are always black solidly black man uh and you know how do we like distinguish that of what it is right or what it's not you know uh, and this is the, the the part that always gets me is how dark the eyes are of these uh creatures of you know walking around out there right are they related to the bigfoot i mean to the giants out there you know maybe man maybe uh, where they're a correlation of of, of that species right of, of the giants that kind of like are out there right you know, I, I, I think they are, you know, and because why do we see so many of these things? I mean, there's even a, a Bigfoot database that I follow. I don't know if you guys really follow those kind of things. I do. And the reason I do is because, you know, I, I want to get as much intel information as possible on these things because, hey, man, what we always try to figure out what we're looking at. And there and there's a website that there's I think it's called BRO. Uh, bfro dot net. All right. So if you can, guys, go there if you can. And it's bfro dot net. This is a Bigfoot reporting uh, site, right? Where you can actually uh, see these uh, Bigfoot reports of what recently happened or occurred, right? And uh, there was a recent one here in uh, in twenty twenty four. You know, in, in uh, over there by the Washington area. You know, I, I talk to Terry Lynch all the time. He says, "Man, Washington is such a hot spot for for Sasquatch." You know, and uh, that's in the western part of the United States. You know, and uh, he says there's just so many sightings that what people see out there, and it's it's crazy how. You know, these people have saw this Bigfoot. If you go to that website, you'll see what I'm talking about. It'll say 2024's recent sightings, right? And 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 it pretty much just tells you that, you know, it says it was, uh, these people were saying it had, it had dark hair all over it while it moved, while I was looking at it. Then it turned and crouched down and it looked at me, right? These people are explaining what they saw out there um, that was actually kind of following them, right? And this reporter that got the report uh, was saying that uh, this is what they told over the phone. She said uh, she and her friend were walking along the Little Rock Road Southwest Party of the exercise looking for an aluminum cans. Um, when they went to the side of the road, they saw this creature on the east side of, of the road. I said um, her friend was on the opposite side of the road, too. And they said they both heard something wrestling uh, and they looked where they were pointing at and they saw this dark form. Right. You know, they. They said it was about 20 to 30 feet away from them, right? And at that point, they just said, you know, uh, and she asked them, well, how tall do you think this thing was? They said, man, it, when it stood up, it was about nine feet tall, right? And you can get all that information from that website. I just thought that I brought that to your attention because, you know, it's uh, it's strange how, you know, we, we're 
we're, we're making out and we're seeing these things more and more. And pe- there is reporting sites where you can go and check those out. Right. Uh, and so we're going to get out of that topic real quick, but we're going to talk about um, extraterrestrials in contact. Right. And what they are. Now, don't forget tomorrow, 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 we're going to have this podcast. I, I believe it's five thirty, six o'clock uh, here on Rumble. I'm going to have a guest on uh, Jessica me she's gonna be she's out of Canada we're gonna show her videos and photos go check that out tomorrow all right which is Friday afternoon and that'll be live here on this podcast I hope you go check it out because you know you don't have to listen to me all the damn time <laughs> which is okay you know because uh, I love giving the information as possible right so let's come let's get into the states a little bit closer to where my location is right so this uh, this this video was taken in at in Fort Hood, right around the Fort Hood area here in Texas, and this this had just sneaked out a couple of days ago. I saw it pop up, and I was like, "Wow, uh, it's kind of hard to tell what it is." But as I started uh, zooming in and did my own analysis, as as much as you guys can do it as well, pretty simple. It's not hard if you got an iPhone or whatever phone. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you the video. This is a video of a guy shooting. Uh, he's standing out on, on a cliff uh, ledge and he's taking this video of something he sees in the sky. Now watch this. So you, you see it kind of going across. It's 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 at a distance, but you're seeing it um, in the visual lower part of the actual horizon, right? So and you and I thought to myself, man, that's kind of hard to tell what it is. But it looks like a bunch of lights just came to light, and then it kind of hid behind the cloud, and then it 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 lit up. I didn't want to play too much more because this guy's got this uh, poison playing in the background, which is a great band, by the way. But they'll they'll flag me for oh, you can't put that. You can't put that. <laughs> Anyway, so I slowed the video down and when I zoomed in to the analysis that I did on this, the actual, it looks like a craft that it's spinning, right? It's going to be spinning. So take a look at this and then I'll kind of go with you here. So, um, you know, as, as I, as you start the video here, no sound or nothing, but uh, I'm actually zoomed in quite a bit, maybe 10, 20, maybe 30 fold. And what I'm doing here is I'm kind of going back and forth on what this person actually saw in the sky. And uh, as you see here, there's a rotation and I'm showing you. There's a, a little bit of a rotation right there. See that? There's a little bit of a rotation. It's kind of spinning counterclockwise as it's appearing up in the sky. Now, can it be birds? It looks like lights to me, you know, and it's they're all spinning in, in that one motion. Uh, and I'm, I'm what I'm getting out of this that it was a possibly a cloaked uh, ship up there that you know turned it off or it just really couldn't hide up there or maybe some atmospheric changes were happening up in the sky, you know, to where it couldn't really hide as much anymore, right? And and and. That's what, you know, I like, I love breaking these videos down um, for the reason of that, because you can do that and and show exactly what's going on. Now, I I, I saw this podcast, I love Joe Rogan, and I saw this Joe, the Joe Rogan podcast here. Uh, it was an older recording. It was recorded in 2023. I think the guy's name is um, uh, Weinstein. He's a uh, math uh, in, uh he, he does quantum uh, m- mathematics, right? And so he was explaining, Joe Rogan was trying to tell him, hey, man, do you believe in in UFOs? And he's like, well, and he, he went a long way, about a good hour and a half explaining it, you know, of, of what he thought. But what his conclusion came down to was that there is not enough concrete evidence to say it is or it isn't, right? 
In other words, he's saying since the beginning of UFO report writing, right? Since we've been doing it since the 40s and 50s, um, it's all been hearsay, right? So you have to go with the assumptions of everything that that's happening is through a, through a scientist uh, that does this, right? Uh, and he had they have to prove the theoretical uh, uh, ways of figuring out these uh, math- mathematical uh, equations to where it's going to uh, calculate with mass, right? Let's just say this is mass, some sort of a mass. You know, it's going to have some kind of calculation around it, right? Everything has a calculation with his theories. When he doesn't have this in his hand or anything like that, he can't really say yes and he can't say no, which is, I understand, 150%. And his main point was that he says that uh, the majority of the people out here in in UFO world or whatever are we're we're doing assumptions, which is I I've, I've been saying that for a while. We're we're just get to assume, but the only difference between what. I'm doing and what other what what uh, these scientists or, or or these these guys that that are like skilled right and and they've been doing it all their lives is that they like the concrete evidence and what I'm what we do here on Alien Strand podcast is we show the concrete evidence he says you can throw me videos all day and I'll tell you that you're full of crap right there's people out there like that scientists are all like that Majority of them are going to be atheists as well. That's just the the, the realism of what that is, right? Uh, because science is their world, right? Everything revolves around science. So does UFOs. But he didn't say that they didn't exist. He said, we still might have technology, which is the big brothers out there, you know, in the, in the, in the complex. They might have this stuff to where, you know, we're, we're doing this or we know how to get there already, right? So I'm going to show you this video. This one came out of uh, in Spain in 2015. This was something that was floating up in the sky, right? And they happened to use stabilization and really narrow it down to where the people shake a lot. When you zoom uh, and, and you're constantly zooming in, you're going to get this uh, shake effect, right? So you have to put it in, into perspective to these uh programs to where we can actually stabilize and center the object right out there in audio land you're seeing this in the broad daylight 2015 spain this ufo that looks like half of a of a walnut uh, uh, an acorn shell or so but there's a glass in front of it right and so and you can kind of see a some sort of a a being inside this thing there's something in there man there's something in there. It's just hard to tell. Now, like I was talking to before, the, the the evidence that we need, that's part of evidence, right? Because this that was been floating around since 2015. I've seen a lot of videos of that one. And, and what this one really separates itself to what from what it is, right? Now, I always tell you that there's a we never, we always focus on the craft. We never focus on the extraterrestrial that's inside this craft, right? And, and there is one. There has to be one, especially in those. So, there was this, uh, video that just popped up, surfaced about a day and a half ago. I don't know if you guys have seen this. This freaking blew me away. And what you're about to see, and out there in Audio Land, what you're gonna, you probably won't hear anything, but I'll, I'll explain it as it goes. You're gonna see a beam of light hit in front of this street, really close camera angle, and you see something like appear and then disappear, right? Like in a beam of light. And I'm gonna break it down for you so you can actually see what it was, right? And this is what I like doing. I, I do this. I do analysis just like everybody else on Alien Strand Disclosure Project. We all do analysis. And once you get into it, it's kind of hard to stop, not, not to analyze things because you don't want people to say, eh, you're blowing smoke or you're full of crap or whatever, right? We don't want that. We want to make sure that what we're seeing, we want you to see, right? So here, it is. let me show you the video. 
Now you can see something just flash and it goes straight down. It disappears. And then, then I believe it comes back up. Right. I zoom in and, and go in just, to, just a little bit further. Right. So, um, now, could you see very much that's happening there at that at that angle? Probably not, right? It's like you're saying, well, maybe a car went by, you know, the flashlight went down, whatever. Um, and maybe, right? Maybe. So I zoomed in a little bit, right? Uh, out there in audio land, you know, just it's a beam of light just coming down at night in front of a home. So, uh, and and here's the, the one that I started breaking down. So what I did was I slowed it down. I zoomed into it so that way we can make out exactly what we're seeing come straight down, right? This is the this is what appeared and then made its way down, right? So in the video, I'm just kind of zooming in and I grabbed it right when it, it was appearing, right? And I was like, well, you know, what am I seeing here? You know, what exactly am I seeing here? And, and it looks strange as it is. As I zoom in really super close to it, it looks like a light, right? Possibly, but it kind of make it, it looks like a, a sort of a head of something, right? A, I don't know, maybe a ghost or, uh, or, or uh, whatever. And that's what exactly what it looked like to me. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you this as well, because I'm going to show you how I made that image. I did it with my, my iPhone, okay? Anybody can do this. And this is just for you to figure out exactly what you're seeing in that image, right? So um, as you can see the, the, the image here, I'm just kind of messing with the brilliance, you know, messing with the highlights, you know, bringing them up and down, giving it more of a contrasty, darker shade, right? And look what starts coming out of it. Right. So you're start adding black point to it, you know, uh, giving it a darker uh, contrast, a little bit more set, you know. And then once you start bringing in just a tad bit of sharpness, don't put too much because you do a little pixelate, and then a little bit of definition, right? And you get this image of what appeared, and then what uh, made its way down. And you see the before and the after, right? Before and the after that I'm showing you of what this thing looks like to me. And it might just seem certain things that you guys aren't seeing, you know, but how does this light appear? And, and then it, it makes this shape. And to me, it looks almost like an extraterrestrial with large eyes on it, right? That's what it looks like to me. You know, and, and that's the strangeness of, of what that is, you know, of how I did that. And I did that with my cell phone, mind you. And there's other programs where you can actually, you know, fix it a little bit better to show exactly what you're seeing. Now, we're seeing the extraterrestrial, extraterrestrials, right, of, of what is out there, uh, I you know, because I call this silent, right? Because these things are silent out there. They're not. They're they're not making any noise. These things are hovering above us. You know, they're they're noiseless. And this is more like a silent proof of what exactly what you're seeing, as I break these uh, images down. Now, there's a friend of mine. His name is Dave Monday. We've talked about him before. Me and Terry Lynch on, on, on these podcasts before, right? He's out of the United Kingdom. And uh, he, he lives in Ride, Portsmouth, uh, in, the United K in the United Kingdom, right? This guy, he's constantly got his boots on the ground, taking videos, photos, taking long walks at night, trying to get, you know, because he, he, ever since he's seen these things, he can't unsee it anymore. Got himself a professional camera, started taking photos, right? Gets a lot of orbs, a lot of a craft from a distance, you know, uh, 
And he shared these images uh, on Facebook. And I was like, well, let me check these out, right? And so when I looked at it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post put it on right now. You know, he's actually showing you this. It looks like an orb, but it's not. And this is the back of his uh, camera because he hasn't uploaded any of this to Facebook. This is just on his SD card, right? And once I did the same process as you saw me do uh, with the alien head, uh, you know, with that light coming down, I did the exact same process here, right? As far as fixing the colors, you know, contrast, things like that, right? And because he says, you, I've been seeing this thing on the ground at night and I don't know what it is. But to me, when you're looking at this picture here, it's a, it looks like a white or broad daylight in the brush. And there's a door with somebody or something standing in the doorway. Um, and it's not an orb. It's a, it's an actual craft because it does have texture. So if you kind of look at that just for a minute, I'm showing you the texture there. There's texture in it. So this orb has or, or craft has landed. And what he got with his zoom, you know, and he's probably got a nice, pretty nice zoom camera. Um, he was able to take this photo. <laughs> this is what I got out of it. Right. Uh, and I thought it was great uh, disclosure there because, you know, as much as we don't want to admit. And when I talked about, you know, these scientists that they want proof, you know, hard proof. And it's right there in front of us, man. The problem is we can't get a hold of it physically, right? And these are people from all over the world that are actually, that are friends of mine and friends of Alien Strand Disclosure Project and everybody that do these photos and, and they they share it out there, you know? And a lot of times they don't get no results back because people are like, eh, eh, whatever, you know? Uh, no, man, it's, you really need to think about this. It's, it's deeper and it's deeper than we know, right? Just like the Bigfoot thing. It goes back a long way, right? And the reason I'm bringing this to you on forefront today is because when my podcast tomorrow with, uh, with Jessica, it's going to, she's going to bring a lot of this to the forefront as well. You're going to hear it from her own mouth. You're going to see her videos. You're going to see all of it, right? And, you know, you, you, people's testimonies and listening to their emotions and listening to them uh, talk about these things to where it bothers them. That's like it, like I told you about the films. They all have this same characteristic, man. It's like it it affected them in a certain way, right? So this is why I put these films out because you need to see the realism of what it is. I got one more for you. Right before we we leave today, and thank you guys by the way for watching the show today. I ho hope you guys you know uh, give me a thumbs up here on Rumble and everything else, and I hope you share it out there. Uh, I know if you're watching on Facebook, I appreciate you guys. I haven't done this in a while there, but um, there's one more uh, UFO that has been getting everybody's attention lately. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you're in these UFO groups and. There's this one UFO that's been spotted in Russia. It's been spotted in different countries. It's been spotted in Spain. It was, and then Arizona, and then Colorado, right? Colorado just put out this this thing that there's during this concert, this craft appeared, and they could see three levels inside of this craft. It was a disc shaped craft before it disappeared. So this is this new. Um, photo that popped out on uh on facebook of a ufo group somebody grabbed this photo the still and i i zoomed in and i did my analysis right for you guys for everybody out there so that way you don't have to do it i did it for you already and if you want to go into it deeper you can but i'm going to show you this three level craft of what it was right this was in uh and I, I don't know if it was in utah or let me see where uh, uh nevada so it's been seen in Nevada, Colorado, Russia, everywhere. The same looking craft, UFO. So I'm going to bring it up on state on 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 the video. So everybody's been seeing this green you know, out there in audio world. It's a green craft, right? That is illuminating this 
circle that has a circle of light. So what I did was I brought the contrast, what you just saw me do, and I started zooming into this thing, right? So there I go, zooming in, zooming in deeper and deeper, as close as I could um, after I did the contrast and the detail and everything to it, right? You could see the occupants inside of this craft. Look, right there. One's looking to the right, one's looking dead ahead, and one's looking a little bit to the left. These are extraterrestrial beings that are inside of this craft as it's going by. These are the windows. And I'm not blowing smoke. I'm showing you. The, the first photo was the original photo. After I did all this to it, cropped it, brought it in. I started, uh, as I zoom in more and more and more, you can actually see the shapes of their heads of these extraterrestrials that were inside of this craft. I always talk to you about these pilots, right? Here they are, right here. Just like that UFO, that famous UFO in Turkey. You can make out that there is three extraterrestrial beings inside of this craft as it's going by. And if this doesn't show you proof, and, I, and I'm glad they grabbed that photo of this thing that was going by. You know, so that way you guys can see that these things, it goes deeper than, than we really want to admit. I want proof. I want proof. This is what they say, the scientists. Hey, man, I wish I could tell these things to land, right? And, you know, get out and show you, but we can't. This is the best proof that we have that these things have been around here and they're above our skies and they uh, visit our people and they take our people as well. And, it's, you know, they bring them back or do whatever. But what I'm showing you here today is that is the proof that these things are real. And I'm not blowing smoke. These these are videos and photos from all over the world that all I did was bring them into a better visual spectrum so you can see what I'm talking about here. So people don't think that we're all wearing a tinfoil hat or we're crazy, right? Because it's not what it is, right? And if that's not proof enough, I don't know what is, right? Just like this this other one here. Inside of an orb, right? What, what does this, right? How much more do you want? Right? I, I love this, by the way. Cindy Grigsby says, all the way, yes. I mean, what, what, how much more do you want? Cindy Grigby out there in uh, Portageville, Missouri, by the way. She gets a lot of really good uh, footage out there. She's an ASDP representative as well. You know, and, you know, we all do good work. Everybody does. You know, this is why they're on board with us as a community. We are citizen ufologists, and that's what we are. We don't have a degree. Or, you can't get a degree in it. There's just no way. We are citizen ufologists learning, exploring and giving you the physical proof by these images, videos, things that we catch with our own phones and things like that. So you guys can understand and, and relate to where we are, right? So that way, when you see the next, uh, the next, you know, government video, you know, we're not full of crap, right? And, and that's what it is. You know, and that's the, the the important part. You know, whether we're talking about Bigfoot, whether we're talking about these extraterrestrials, or you know, cryptid things, whatever out there. You know, um, these things have an an agenda, right? And and I talk about it so much because I want you to be aware that we can't be fully uh, immersed in to what they are. Yes, but. It's, 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 it's keeping your distance in a sense, right? And this is what I'm trying to do here. Just show you. 
I'm, I'm showing you exactly what I, what I, what I speak. And I want you guys to be aware of what you're seeing in the sky sometimes. And if you don't know anybody that, that doesn't understand, if you know people that doesn't understand it, point them to alien strand podcast, because I'm going to, with, with all my, my podcasts, even in audio, I, I will show you exactly what everything is, even with my guests on or anybody that's out there. If you want to be a guest on my show, please call me or get on the show. I'd, I'd love to have you guys. George Heather says, I saw Bigfoot in the 90s. Yes, uh, uh, they actually, you actually... Uh, put a, a nice uh, paragraph on your encounter, which was amazing. Thank you for, for putting that out there for us to read. You know, they had, they had a, a really cool encounter and it's on one of my posts. I'll see if I can uh, add it on there. Now, anything that's that I'm showing here or from the films, you'll see a, a, a description. It'll say all my links, click on that. That'll take you to all the social pages of alien strand podcasts. It'll take you to the web pages, the movies, the books, all that good stuff, you know, because we're out here to to help and to get out as much information as possible, right? And just like you saw me break all this stuff down, you know, I'm I'm trying to get uh, as much as I can out there to to everyone. And I I just I wish that that people could be more, uh, you know, kind of forthcoming and and you know accepting these things of what they are right we they're real man <laughs> these things as real as they are nothing's gonna change that don't forget tomorrow's podcast alien connection the visit with jessica tease me so so be on the podcast tomorrow it'll be kind of early all right so it won't be a late one like this one but because you got kids, you got to put them to sleep, all that good stuff. But we're going to do a live podcast and we're going to show you the proof just like I showed you today. And like I said, I hope you guys really enjoy uh, the, the content that I'm giving out here today. And I hope you guys uh, see the middle part two that's out right now, you know, and, you know, it's it's very informative and it's these people's stories of what you're seeing here. Everything that I showed you, man, is, is on there and their stories on the middle two on Amazon prime. Go check it out. On another note, those that are going to, I don't know if you've been seeing the commercials I've been throwing out for the, uh, the conference in Florida. Unfortunately, I will not be able to make that. They're still going to show my film there, but uh, I'll probably do like a video introduction to it. So you guys can, you know, at least hear that. I had some other stuff pop up and it's personal stuff. I, I can't make it out there, but I wish I could have, you know, at least meet some folks out there that would have been amazing. I've been throwing the commercials out uh, for, for you guys to go see this. It's an amazing conference. I wish I could have gone there in person, but at least my film will be playing there, right? Uh, uh, for the people that have paid and been, uh, it's got a three day event, man, three days. You can hear all kinds of people uh, talk and speak and show all their evidence, right? Just like I showed you here today. All right. So again, thank you guys for for watching me uh, ramble here a little bit today, and I hope I learned you a little bit, teach you something about UFOs and about how to use your cell phones, right? On how to do your self analysis, right? Uh, hey, everybody can do it. Right. And I hope I showed you some stuff that you've never seen before in a, in a, in a different sense, right? In a visual sense uh, to get more out of what you're seeing up in the skies. And that's what Alien Strand Podcast is about, right? That's why we're here on Rumble, man. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch. We're on X. We're on Facebook, too. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe they let me go on Facebook right now. Yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> oh, wow. It is what it is, man. You know, what do you do? What do you do? You, you, you got to make people as happy as possible. I'm happy. We're all happy. Hey, let's just be a happy bunch of people, right? Let's just do that, right? Remember, 
man, just be sure, be be good to one another, be happy out there, you know, uh, give much love to everybody out there, you know, help people out as much as you can, you know, I know it's hard these days, it's hard, but try to help people, even if it's an emotional or verbal, you know, whatever, be, be nice, be good, you know, so Christmas is coming, be good for goodness sake, man. <laughs> Santa Claus is going to be coming to town here pretty soon. I hope he comes in real soon. You know why? Because it's too hot down here, man. Oh, wow. These hurricanes are, are horrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. George says, thank you for letting uh, people know about everything. Hey, man. That's right. Even, even what they were talking about. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys out there that are watching, uh, like I said, please catch us on all these podcasts. We're live on audio right now. Thank you for listening on Spreaker. It'll be on uh, oh, Spotify, all these. If you want to listen to it later on, hey, it's there. Uh, just give us some thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up on this podcast if you really enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, tomorrow, don't forget to catch me tomorrow. I'll, I'll put a, a definite time. It's I believe it's 5 or 6. I, I might have confused myself, but it's going to be a central time, 5 or 6. It'll be early. And uh, you better catch that podcast. It's going to be a really nice one, uh, you know, a really good one as we talk to uh, uh, Jessica and we get this information out uh, about what's happening to her ever since she spotted these UFOs. Man, it's going to be a good one. You got to see it. All right. But until then, you know, you guys have yourselves a good day. Have yourselves a good evening. And have yourselves a good night. We'll see you later. Alien Strand Podcast. Give me a like. Bye.